Hey everyone, this is going to be a slightly different type of video. I've seen a lot of other artists on YouTube and other sort of video platforms showing their old art and I've been avoiding it for a long time because I've always felt that I was never great at art and I just um, keep trying it because I just love art so much and of course I always put myself down a lot and a lot of artists do that sort of thing. So I decided to just go for it. Um, I'm gonna show, this is something I did not too long ago, maybe five or six years ago, and I was basically just testing out markers. I used a few different markers and uh, kind of mixed results. I'm not that good with markers, but a few of the markers I used were kind of crappy. So let's get into it. Some of these pictures I'm about to show are really old and I'll try to describe what they are and how old they are this one uh when i was about 18 that's when i really started getting into manga um didn't really know what it was back then uh it wasn't really in america at all there was anime and i was definitely into dragon ball z and like the movie akira and stuff like that but it was actually really uncommon back in the 90s to have stuff like that and you could only get manga at very specific places and you couldn't really order things online because the internet was really new back then but this was my uh, first attempt at a full manga and I've never gone back to redo it or anything. It was about some kids that were trained to live on the moon and they were the first group of people to actually live on the moon and start colonizing the moon and there was like a lot of mysteries that unraveled once they get there but yeah maybe someday I'll rework it and try to go back to it um here's another me testing markers i think a couple of them were copic markers i've never had very many copic markers just because they're so expensive but i just kind of drew this really fast and tried to color it i was mostly trying to see if i could you know get the blues to layer to make shading like that and, um some of these are going to be really old and probably crappy but here's one that's uh not too old it's maybe six years old um this is an l from world of warcraft uh i used to play that game a lot when it first came out and i i loved the game but it just is so much of the same thing over and over that I kept getting bored of it and then every expansion i would buy it thinking it's going to be something exciting and new but it's like just doing the same quests over and over so here's another one that um some people might recognize this if they've ever visited my deviant art but she's from an anime that i can't even remember what it is i have to look it up again but I put this in my computer and colored it and put it on DeviantArt. And that one is also about six or seven years old. So this page I'm just throwing on there has a lot of sketches and crap on it. Um, but I didn't want to throw it away because this character right here, I liked his design. I just kind of, I don't know, I just came up with him out of nowhere and I might reuse them for something else but I thought he f almost would fit in like a Chrono Trigger type of world so that's just why I kept that um, this one I did a long time ago I actually drew this for one of my nephews he was only three or four at the time and I drew this for his birthday but then I read redrew it and colored it and put it in a frame and gave it to him for his birthday so that's supposed to be him if <laughs> by the way um this one is actually pretty interesting to me because 
I was at this public place um, trying to sell some stuff and there was a lot of other groups of people selling stuff and there was these kids playing music like sort of entertaining shoppers while they were there and there was one Asian girl that was playing the keyboard and she just looked really cute so I sat there and was trying to draw her of course it's not like totally realistic or anything but I just kind of was drawing her as she was playing because I was pretty bored not really selling much so I got a bunch of line notepads that are just like really old and I'm just gonna show you one or two drawings from each one here's a I might flip through a couple pages just to explain here's I had a a red pen that I found I was kind of scribbling and I kind of came up with this devil looking thing because at the time I was working on a comic that was all about demons and angels and the devil and God were important players here's another just picture from that and there's another one um, so I always thought that was really cool just using a red pen kind of scribbling it kind of came out a weird effect but I really like how it looks even though it's just a crappy little sketch uh, here's another one uh, this is Squall and Renoa from Final Fantasy VIII. I've done many drawings of them in different styles. Like I kept trying to switch their styles. I just tr tried to draw them a lot because when that game first came out back in 99 or 98, um, I was obsessed with it. It's the one game that made me get a PlayStation because when it PlayStation first came out, I wasn't into it. I was super fan of Nintendo only. I didn't like anything that wasn't Nintendo until I saw previous for this game. I just fell in love with it. And still to this day, I'll get it out every once in a while and replay it. I mean, I, I wait a couple years in between each replay, so it's not like I have it memorized, but it's just so nostalgic. I, I just love that game. Here's another little quick scribble I had this notepad was like for me taking actual notes in a class or something but I don't know I just started scribbling really fast this sort of stereotypical anime type of girl and uh, the way her head is slightly tilted down and stuff I don't know I just liked it especially for how fast I did it I did it in like two minutes and always thought it was pretty good um, just gonna show this real quick uh, so ever since I was a teenager which was quite a while ago um, I've been doing these little stupid quick comic strips especially these ones that I used to call Fukimon which is like a spoof of Pokemon and Digimon and all those anime shows that came out around that time and all the little monsters are like made to look like body parts or sexual toys and stuff like that because so it was just a huge joke and uh i i don't know why but i just constantly doodled little things like that and thought it was hilarious other people probably think it's dumb or don't understand but I still to this day, every once in a while, will doodle one of these characters and just laugh. Um, and then here's another one back when uh, Dragon Ball Z was a huge part of my life. Um, this is the evil Dark Boo. I used to buy the tapes of Dragon Ball Z, the Boo Saga, before they were on TV. And um, looking back now I wish I didn't do that I spent a lot of money on those tapes just so I could see it before anyone else but I just saw one of the tapes and was trying to draw this guy at different angles just so I can uh, you know kind of study Dragon Ball Z more even though that I drew it all the time and I kind of have it had it memorized back then anyways 
that's about it for today. I might show more depending on if people want me to, and uh, I might go back to even my childhood drawings. They're pretty crappy, but I mean, it might be interesting to go back and look through them. Anyways, hope this entertained you a little bit. Thanks for watching.